Hello everyone, this is CypherDeck and today we are back in Scrap Mechanics. I'm going to be doing something new, but I wanted to go ahead and show you something that we ended up doing. Uh, me and AC Gamer off um, when we were not recording. Don't know what that is for. Probably messing something up. Nope, I'm not. <laughs> Alright, so as you remember this goes up and um it didn't have anything to connect to and so we ended up having a problem because one arm was moving uh whenever the other arm um was not so it was allowing the vehicle to come off of the track or not stay firmly so we ended up making this joint here that um and i can create it real quick just to show you what it looks like and this is because they ha they do not have a welder in the game yet. So pretty much we have a single string going across there. And it's going through a hole. And... Oh. So this here is completely separate on that. So it, if I would not have capped this off, it would have been able to slide out, cause problems, all kinds of things. So what we ended up doing is we ended up bringing this out over and connecting it to there. So you can attach something that is hooked to a, um, to a bearing to another thing by locking it in this way. If you didn't do that then it, it just would not uh, have a way to stabilize itself so anyway they're still working on that they're still um, working on coming out with a welder which is something that uh, they did say today that they are working on they also said that they are working on something that you can reattach something if you say cut it off um, another thing is that tomorrow uh, which will be the 18th they are going to be releasing a spray paint gun, which will allow you to paint things, which is going to be absolutely awesome. Uh, you can individualize everything that you make, like my motorcycle over there or this roller coaster. That The only reason I'm using this block is because it's light. So anyway, um, without further ado, this now goes up and goes to that. And you can see it's nice and close to to that piece there. So now I flip another switch. Which then raises a sensor to uh, connect to, um, to see this part of the track. And then I have these arms that go in and connect and then they pull it downward. This way it allows it to um, stay closer to the track without moving. So if we go up there now. Oh, come on now. By the way, we ended up adding another set of wheels. Alright, so before we get up there, you can see now... That is nice and tight. Now, here's where one of, one of the problems that we, we have. So, I'm probably going to get stuck up here. Let me go ahead and get up here. You see how it's shimmying back and forth? What it's doing whenever it does that is it's hindering uh, or it's uh, making the space smaller sometimes. It doesn't look like it did this time for me to be able to get back over that that um area so let's see if it'll let me and you can see that it is not and the reason is is because if we zoom in a little bit you can see that that slid over um even though that joint is supposed to be keeping it in its place it still slid over and now that bar is hitting that so it won't come on uh come undone anyway that's all right we can come out the cockpit on the top, grab this, 
if you're afraid of heights don't look <laughs> but anyway that's just something that uh, we've been working on or I've been working on with AC and um, so let's go ahead and turn this off And then we'll go ahead and turn this off. So today I want to make something that can get to the skybox. That doesn't fly. Um, that I can get to easily. Uh, and will drive the way I want it to. And what I'm thinking of is making a tank kind of vehicle. That uses thrusters and engines. Um, or just thrusters. I don't know yet how I want to do that, but, um, let me go ahead and get my blocks and, uh, we'll get started. So the first thing I want, I'm going to use these. Um, I, I just like the look of them. I mean, I, I've used these as you see here and, um, I use a different block there. I want to go ahead and use these this time. So the vehicle is going to have, I don't know. I'm thinking... Oh, <laughs> that came off of the, uh, the lift. I, I think I might go with um, somewhere around eight plus wheels or less or more. I don't know. You know, this might actually uh, take longer if I do it with this material. Just because um, it is a little bit slower to work with. And I do want to go ahead and go a little bit wider. So anyway, this is where the cockpit will sit. Kind of want to have the driver centered. Because I have engines, I have thrusters that I need to put on it. Um, steering, all that kind of stuff. Well, that's not really anything I have to worry about. But I do want to probably use some sort of... Um, some sort of control that will use uh, bearings. So let me go ahead and get my driver's seat. And we'll be as center as we can. So this thing takes up six slots, I believe, if, if I remember correctly. So let's go to there. And that should leave me. Okay, so we need to add one here. So I'm going to go now, I'm going to go ahead and go one, two, three, five, six. There we go. And just go ahead and fill all those in. I think I said six so one two three four five six all right <laughs> getting it wrong all right, so what I want to do now is I want to go ahead and um, widen this at least uh, one, two. So every two, or, or I'm sorry, every three slots. Is that what it's going to be? Let's check. Let's get our suspension out. And we'll get, um, we'll just mock up some wheels just to see um, how it'll work. If we want to go big wheels or small wheels. I think small wheels, by the way, you don't have to use the normal wheels that are, that you have available. So I think I need to go one more. There are other things that you can use four wheels so um, I'll show you in just a second there we go 
go. I'm not going to put bearings down. I just need to uh, see that's kind of close. Okay, that is one three between each one. All right. And I want to go ahead and go out one, two. So f it's a total of, let's go out a total of four from this. This is one, two, three, four. And we're going to do that on both sides. So let's go ahead and lower it back down. And um, I'll go ahead and get started on that. Okay, so now that we have our walls on it, we are now going to set up our suspension uh, and as well as everything else. So now what I'm going to do is I think I'm going to go from here. And was it one, two, three, four? Okay, we're going to do the same thing from here. And just to make sure. It's very hard to see with this white. So I think I'm on the third row. Yep, third row. So third row, we're going to come to here. Do one, one, two, three, four. Okay, and then again, one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. All right. So we're going to have a total of um, six wheels on each side. The spin, uh, being the way that it is with the suspension that I'm going to put on it. We actually could put a smaller suspension if we wish. There we go. And that's how, how it's actually going to be set up. So now we're going to do the same on the other side. So... One, one, Okay, so now we're going to go ahead and put the wheels on. Uh, so I need to put one of these on each one of these here. Because I'm going to have... It's 
going to be very weird for these two middle ones. Um, because, you know what? I'm looking at it, and I would rather it... How many did I come down? One, two, three? This is one, two. Yeah, I'd rather have these on par with these. I don't need it to be anything su uh, su super strange. I just need it to be practical. So I think by um, having four wheels on the ground always, uh, you will you'll end up doing better. There we go. So now what we need to do is we need to go ahead and put bearings on all these. Um, if you're going to use motors, which I, I, I'm still deciding if I am or not, um, you need to make sure that um, you have two motors for every, or you have one motor for every four wheels. So um, as you see, we have 12 <clears throat> Well, so we're going to need three engines for all of these wheels, or you can go with four. <clears throat> Sorry. Um, and that will allow you to uh, be able to handle um, all of these, um, yeah, wheels, <laughs> as I was saying. So let's go ahead and continue on. So there's nothing really special about this. I mean, it's not, it's not a, it doesn't have any uh, major bearings on it. It's not doing any tricks. It's just going to be running up a wall as fast as it can. Um, so, which sounds kind of <laughs> harder once you think about it. Oh, you know, I should have probably just left, uh, went ahead and filled those ones out over there. That's all right. There we go. All right, then you go ahead and put bearings here. This is going to be your drivetrain. Now we may have too much suspension for what I actually have planned, um, but you know, Gotta, gotta just go with it. Go with it. Just see what happens uh, whenever you're, you get going and uh, whenever it's done. Maybe you like it. Maybe you don't. Maybe uh, you need to change it. So let's see. This gives us perfect space for all of these. There we go. To the other side and we'll go ahead and test our steering just to make sure it's all correct so i go ahead and set that up right now after i put these on all right so now the fun time don't have any engines on here yet of course but uh we can definitely get all of this set up Okay, so now we need to go ahead and start working on our platform, which uh, because it is symmetrical, we are able to now continue to make it 
symmetrical <laughs> as much as we can at least so I'm going to use um, electrical or gas engines rather uh, let's go ahead and get some thrusters and I want to go ahead and um, well one thing I definitely want to do is I want to make some kind of skirt for our wheels make it look kind of tankish on the front so let's go ahead and get this round out those um, for the front and the back boom 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 all right and there's that it's nice and rounded it doesn't look that bad anymore <laughs> it the suspension is absolutely crazy I'm, so i want to go ahead and put my engines in um i'm gonna put them in um kind of want to put them i'll put one in between these two wheels here so it's going to go between there and we'll just stay on the same line and there how many blocks uh, it's two blocks two blocks and two blocks so two by two so there's two blocks I think that's correct two blocks on there and there All right, so let's go ahead and get the engines first connected to um, the steering wheel so we don't go crazy. <laughs> I wonder how, if that would work. Can you do that? No, of course you can't. Just think if you could combine engines to make them <laughs> more powerful that would be absolutely crazy all right so this is going to go there okay we're going to cover the first three on each side I, I think that will do best for us so Once we test this out, because this is the first thing we're going to need to make sure works, uh, the next thing we'll do is um, go ahead and uh, try to add thrusters. See, if, see, with electrical motors, they have a lot of torque. And because they have so much torque, um, it seems as if... Uh, wheels that have uh, electrical engines going to them will not actually allow you to um, move them with thrusters. I mean, you can move them, but it doesn't mean they will actually move. So let's go ahead and go back over here. Get all these going the right direction. And um, let's get up here, and I'm, I'm not going to put much. I'm going to put one, two, three. There we go. And how does it drive? Is this sliding? What's going on with that? Is it really is it really gonna tip over? I have that wide of a of a base. Okay, so maybe maybe the wrong suspension. Maybe it's too high. Maybe that's the problem. Now it's too really high. <laughs> if 
feels like I didn't even put very much power on it either. And it's acting as if I did. Wow, really? Okay, so that is definitely showing us we need to change something. We barely put any power on e on those wheels. And it was... Um, and it wasn't very stable. So I will be right back once I get this all changed over. Okay, so it's looking a whole lot better. It's uh, definitely a whole lot shorter. Something that I need to definitely add now is something that swings out in the front and the back that allows me to climb the wall that's out there, that wall right there. So what I, ha I think I'm gonna do is, um, this is rather even. Um, I think this one and this one are centered. We'll go ahead and go in one more. And what we'll do is we'll go ahead and add bearing there. Don't need to add another one on the other side because they um, have yet to implement um, the um, welding tool. The welding tool, is, that's what it's for. For those of you who don't know, the welding tool, whenever they add it, is so that bearings can be welded to each other. So you can have one bearing on each side, weld those together, and it allows it to be supported by both sides. So it's not being supported by one. So anyway, the next thing that we'll do is we'll go ahead and come down here. We need to add another little suspension. Twice. Now these, they only need to roll. They don't need to have any turning ability to them. So we'll go ahead and add uh, that. Add it on this side. Put wheels on it. And again, because we didn't put four or four wheels on each one of these engines, uh, we can go ahead and put this on that wheel this on that wheel make sure that it's going the right way where's the steering wheel so this actually needs to be going the other way all right so let me go ahead and see if i can jump up on here if i can't i'll just get on the steering wheel and then jump out so now that what I need to do is go ahead and add two boxes. Uh, what are they actually called? Controllers. Two controllers. We'll put one here. And just so that we're staying symmetrical, one there. And the one for this one is going to control that. So. The control is going to be really simple. All it needs to do is come up 90 degrees. And then we'll go ahead and put buttons. Uh, we don't need, well, we do need suspension. But we um, will put a button right here. And then we'll put a button on the other side in the same place. Rotate it just so that it's nice. And we're going to have the front one be number one. All right, so now if I press number one, that should come up and that should help me get um, on, or at least get, give me a little push to get up uh, onto the wall. There we go. And that should be going the same speed because it's connected to those engines. So now I need to go ahead and I don't need engines anymore. I don't, I do need wheels. Let's get that tiny suspension or the, sorry, the sport suspension. back here I think it's this one and that one go ahead and go in again 
and then we're going to do the same thing here. So put a bearing, two blocks. Put our suspension on. Not like that. Put another block down for both of these. Put a bearing and a bearing, a wheel. and another wheel all right so the last thing do the same thing as we did before we're going to go ahead and connect these to these and we need to make sure these are all going the same direction that one is that one isn't this needs to go to this box this box needs to connect to this button this button needs to connect to there and then now all we need to do is get up there and edit this box go ahead and make sure which way this is turning so it is going to turn the correct way so all we have to do is go in here and turn it to 90. there we go get in we have one and we have two there we go so that part's done all we need to do now is add thrusters right so I think that's gonna be easy all we have to do is decide where we're gonna add those thrusters and I think the best place is gonna be right in front of each one of these engines That way, again, see, symmetrical needs to happen with this kind of uh, setup just because of the fact that you want to make sure that whenever you're climbing a wall or trying to go up into the sky, that you have something that will allow you to um, be even the whole time, have even pressure, so on and so forth. One thing I am going to do is I am going to bring these down one for some reason with this setup they don't need to be going that fast so let's go ahead and bring these down one there we go so now we need two we need one more button but for symmetrical purposes we're gonna go ahead and put down two let's go ahead and put that on there and one more All right, so now we'll just test it real quick. Oh yeah, there it goes. See, it is squishing the suspension. That's kind of what we want though. We want that. So let me go ahead and make sure that that's connected. All right, so let's go ahead and hit three. And I think we're done. Well, at least, um, I don't think, I think we're done. Uh, let's go ahead and get over there. It's a little bit slower, as you can see. That's odd, because it's only one point, and it just feels like it's so sluggish now. So, um, let's go ahead and get over there and climb a wall, right? Oh, all right. Come on, little guy. You got it. You got it. Ah, uh, I hit the right click. Something that I'm really bad at. All right. Let me see. Okay, so now we need to go ahead and do our one and two. And this should just help us get up the wall. And when we're coming back down, it'll help us get back on the ground. So, if I did everything correctly, let's go ahead and just slow down as we get to the wall here. 
there's a bump on the other side of the wall anyway let's go ahead and slowly go up it's not gonna work it's just hindering me okay maybe I don't have enough power maybe I need more power so we'll go ahead and go back up one on all of these okay Oh, there it goes. There it goes. Press number three. Oh, oh, oh. That's not going to work. That's not going to work. We have to get on there first. So let's go ahead and go up. Once we get vertical, press three. There we go. Are you. Is it going to do it? It's holding us. It's holding us. We need to. Can we go up? It's slow. It's barely doing anything that I'm pulling it to. Alright. Alright. This is not what I would consider a success. But I wouldn't uh, call it a failure either. I mean, we're, we're going... Just not very fast. Okay, definitely want to make sure we stay straight. Mm -hmm. Okay, and for testing purposes, I'm going to go ahead and let it come back down. Stay straight, stay straight, stay straight. Okay. All right, so we uh, we learned a few things there. We need to go ahead and maybe up the power on these. I think I got all those, yep. And maybe up the power on this. Nope, 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 nope. Come on. All right, get back in. I'll go ahead and throw number one back up there. Maybe with the speed. Oh yeah, it's, it's going up there already. So now number three. Oh yeah, we're going much better this time. Yes! So we're doing it. We're climbing the wall. Apparently it's bouncy. So we need to keep correcting. Okay. <laughs> Come on, tap, tap, tap. Get straight again. I don't know, guys. What do you think? I think it's perfect. All right, so let's go ahead and turn number three off. Oh. This is going to be, uh... <laughs> All right. 
Well, we uh, we tested it. It is working for the most part. And um, I think that'll work for now. Uh, next time, we'll go to the skybox. I want to add something else onto here. Some kind of platform that we can... Um, that we can sit or stand on when we get up there so that we can um you know work on the sky sky box uh if not then um oh yeah we're, we're still on a um thingy thing majig there we go but anyway guys thank you so much for watching if you liked it please um please let me know this is cypher deck peace out